With hopes to start a master-planned community just outside of Kingman, Arizona, Silverado was going to have it all, with homes, schools, shopping centers, golf course, and other commercial development. But unfortunately, the plans never came into fruition. What is up everybody, my name is Jesse, and today I'm going to be telling you the story behind the master-planned, yet not-so-master-planned community of Silverado. Be sure to go Will Smith on that like button and subscribe for more content. It's hard to imagine something like this that possessed so much potential just rotting away in the desert. Most articles I found on the web stated that these homes have been left abandoned since 2008, so it's safe to say they were probably built maybe a few years prior. But the question is, how did they become abandoned? These houses, aside from the vandalism and deterioration due to wildlife and weather, were virtually complete, and to this day, while they might not look the most pleasant, and they might look like a place where drug addicts and tweakers might live, but they don't. At least, I don't think. They still aren't in too rough of shape. However, I don't see Chip and Joanna Gaines coming to the rescue anytime soon. Okay, so we're here at the abandoned mansions just outside of Kingman again, mainly because I have nothing else better to do. <laughs> actually, just kidding. I'm actually on my way out to Vegas and I had my 4K drone with me, so I figured I would do a 4K flyover and just kind of show you guys what it looks like in 4K, I guess. And I did take a look. Now there are no trespassing signs all over the houses, but the road that actually leads in there does not have any no trespassing signs up or keep off signs. So I figured maybe what we'll do is we'll just drive in, drive up and down the street real quick. I don't think there's any harm in that. And then we'll just, We'll split so that way we can kind of take a look at what it uh, looks like uh, from the car and from the GoPro. So let's check it out. There they be, six glorious, luxurious, almost finished pigeon, roach, probably wildlife infested homes. Like I said, we're just gonna do a quick drive through in and out and then turn around. So I figure no harm there. And um, yeah, let's take a look. Shit, that's if we don't get stuck first. This community really would have been something. I'm sure a lot of vandals come out here because they're jerks and they have really nothing else better to do. But we're not vandals. We're just gonna take a quick peek. Look at that. A lot of garbage in there, a mattress. A lot of the walls have been busted out. Of course, the windows have too, no surprise. But if that was finished, that would have been a beauty. Let's take a look at the rest of these houses here. You know what? We probably won't be able to because I can't make it down there. So <laughs> that's about all we're going to see today. I wish we could have gone further, but you know what? Maybe that's done by design to keep people out. Wouldn't surprise me. If you guys do know who owns that property and could get me in touch with them, let me know because I would gladly pay a few bills or work out some sort of deal to where I could roam through those houses and I would really appreciate it. Now I did a video out here about a year and a half ago and since then I've gathered new details, got a better drone, and since I happened to be in the area, I just figured let's make another video. Now as of the end of May 2022, this is all that remains out here. I guess there used to be more houses out here at one point in time, but they've since been demolished. Now when I first heard about these homes, I took to the Googles and one of the first pieces of information that I found detailing why these houses were never finished was due to radioactive waste that had been dumped there back in the day. Now, I couldn't find any concrete info on this, especially after spending hours on the web and asking locals, but the real reason why they were never finished was a combination of two things. One, the housing market crash of 2008, which put a halt on further development of the Silverado community. And two, there was actually plans to build a solar plant nearby, which would have brought jobs to the area and conveniently enough with these homes being built would have provided housing for the workers of the plant. But unfortunately, even after the developer was approved for zoning due to groundwater purposes, they just never applied to continue the project and these homes have just been decaying in the desert ever since. Now ever since I made my first video on these homes, which I'll post that card in the upper right hand corner in case you guys want to check that one out, a lot of people have chimed in with their thoughts on the homes and shared a little bit of info. Someone even commented that they had an agreement with, I want to say the property managers of this place so that way they could use it as an airsoft field, which would definitely explain the numerous tires and pallets that you see here. And another former local even commented, I used to live five miles away from there when they were being built. Three of the homes were completely finished and they were used as models to sell the lots. My family and I toured the homes and they were definitely the nicest homes in Kingman at the time. 
Such a shame, really, when you read something like that and then hear about all the potential that was to be had out here. Tisk tisk tisk. Now in case you get any bright ideas about coming out here, here's one thing to keep in mind. There is an abundance of no trespassing signs in front of all the houses and on them. So like Taylor Swift, don't say I didn't warn you. And if you guys have any additional info that you can add to the story of the Silverado community, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. And most importantly, if you guys know of anyone I could get in touch with that could potentially grant permission for me to go inside these homes and take a look around, please let me know. I've tried a few avenues so far and haven't had any luck. And hey, if you guys want to see another abandoned building known as the Gold King Mansion, which is tucked away at the base of the Hualapai Mountains near Kingman, Arizona as well, then click the card you see right here. We'll see you next time.